Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your love reading for February. And if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, Scorpio, what's going on in love for you right now? Let's get into your energy. Trust your intuition. She's always right. So there's something in your life where you need to trust. You need to take a step back and evaluate the situation. I feel like, Scorpio, you're going through a situation to where you really need to trust and focus on what your intuition is trying to tell you. Because your intuition is trying to tell you something that's very important. It's trying to tell you something that you need to really notice. We have nourished your body with high vibrating energy. So there may be certain things around you that are negative at the moment. Um, I really feel like you may have a need to um, remove negative energy from your life at the moment. Something that's bringing you negative energy that's letting you know that the feeling is kind of bringing you down. You know? Something needs to be released. Let's get some more energy for Scorpio. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know? In love, please. Service. You may be of service to somebody. You may be in a community setting where you provide some kind of volunteer service. This may be where you are meeting new people. You may meet someone new during this time when you're providing this service or when you're servicing your community. Um, I feel good when I can help others. So you may be in an opportunity where you're able to help others with some kind of service. Mm. Maybe you volunteer. Okay. Scorpio, gratitude, feeling grateful for the things that you have and taking notice of the things that are really good in your life, being thankful. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So I feel like there's something in your life that, that you're very grateful for and because you're in this grateful um, vibration, this grateful energy it's bringing love into your life i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and i feel like you have a very good heart scorpio i feel like you you are an optimist you know you see the good things in other people but sometimes i do feel like you see good things that may not be there you know you're very open and giving and sometimes I feel like your intuition is telling you that maybe you're giving a little bit too much maybe you need to pull back that energy just a little bit uh, because I feel like I feel like for some of you I feel like someone is taking advantage of your kindness Someone is taking advantage of how much you care. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What does tarot have to say for Scorpio? Give me a message for Scorpio, please, in love, sun, moon, and rising. Okay. Yeah, someone feels left out in the cold. Someone feels like... You're not giving them the attention that they need. Someone just wants to be recognized. They want to be noticed. And I feel like this is someone maybe close to you. But someone feels like... They should get a lot more attention from you than you're giving. You know, this is someone who really cares about you. Yeah, someone who finds you very valuable. They want to feel more stable in their relationship. 
they want to feel that stability they want you to support them um they want to give you that support in return i feel like this person is looking for praise for something something that they've done they want you to see they want you to take notice they feel like they're not valued and they feel like you're moving on without them they feel like you've kind of left them behind you left them in the dust <laughs> You left them out for some reason. They feel excluded. But they feel like you, you've left them behind, Scorpio. They feel like they're you're moving on without them. Like maybe... What I'm getting is... You may have got a promotion. So this person is feeling some sort of way about this. They feel like. Hmm. Like you're outdoing them in some way. You know maybe you make more income than they do. Maybe you are becoming the breadwinner. And they feel kind of left out. They feel unvalued. They have an issue with their self-worth. You know. They, they feel like. They only see value within themselves. If you see value in them. You know. Um, and I feel like this person is kind of jealous of. The success that you're having. They're kind of jealous of some kind of. Some kind of project that you're doing. Maybe you're doing something to increase your income. But this person feels kind of jealous. They feel kind of envious. They feel like you're moving on without them. Like you're going to end up leaving them in the, in the future. We have the sun. So, you know, whoever this is, they, they just want to be happy. They want to be fulfilled. You know, if this is someone in your life, they they see you as their happiness. They see you as what brings them happiness. You know, I feel like somebody is putting a lot of value in you. Someone is seeing you as, you know, their whole world, their whole happiness. We have the Hierophant. So someone truly wants a commitment. Someone wants to be truly committed to the situation. And I feel like the Hierophant underneath the Six of Wands. I feel like this is someone who is committed to being seen. This may be someone with social media. This may be an influencer. Uh, but I feel like this person is committed to being seen. They they have their eyes on success. You know. Um, this may be you. Virgo. Okay. We have the devil. So underneath the page of pentacles. We have the devil. So I feel like. There may be a little negative energy going on here. And matter of fact, I feel like this is a lot of neg negative energy. Uh, I feel like this is a blockage of some sort. This is you being blocked from something that you want. Something that brings value to you. Something that you hold very dear to you is being blocked. Hmm. We're going to get some clarity on this. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. So, Scorpio, I do feel like something is being blocked in your life. Maybe because of negative energy. Maybe because of a feeling of being left out. Uh, but some kind of negativity, some kind of jealousy is coming. And it feels like... 
they're doing this because they want to offer you love but I feel like you're not really accepting the situation if, right now I feel like you're putting other things before love uh, maybe a job maybe a career maybe something that you're pursuing maybe you're going back to school but I feel like you're putting your ambitions ahead of love so this person is feeling very jealous that you're not accepting their offer they're feeling huh, real envious they, they feel like you're moving on without taking their offer you know and I feel like this person is looking for a commitment. Maybe they asked you to marry them and you turn them down. But this person is looking for happiness. They're looking for a completion. They're looking for you to be the world. You know, uh, with the world card here, I feel like they're they're looking for their goal to be met and i feel like you're the goal i feel like someone's chasing you someone is trying to get your attention and we have the chariot card wow okay I feel like this person is really trying to get your attention. That you may be moving ahead of this person. You may be um, soaring higher than this person, if that makes sense. Uh, but I feel like you're moving forward, and this person feels like they're they're back here in the back. They're in the background. They're on the back burner. Um, I feel like this person feels like they're in the background, and you're moving ahead you're soaring like an eagle you know you're you're moving into this new purpose following your destiny and this person is deep in thought <coughs> excuse me this person is deep in thought they can't get their mind off of you they think about you a lot. They want you to change your mind, change your perspective on a situation. I feel like if this is an ex, this is someone who's really trying to get your attention. They could be texting you. Um, they could be trying to communicate with you with this Knight of Cups. I feel like they're, they're really trying to get your attention. They're trying to get you to take a second look at them, to reconsider and give them a second chance. I, I really feel like this person wants you to change your mind. To not move on without them. You know, I feel like this person puts a lot of value in you. Yeah, this person is trying to gain their strength to move forward towards you. They're trying to gain their strength to tell you exactly what they want to tell you. To really show their true feelings to you. But I feel like this person is kind of holding back. They want to communicate their love to you. That they love you unconditionally. But I feel like there's, there's something blocking them. There's something blocking them. That may be you. You may have blocked them. See, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like this person is working nonstop to get your attention. They could be really looking at your social media, seeing what you're doing. Hoping, and they could be also commenting on your social media, hoping that you take notice. You know, or liking your social media. But I feel like they're working very hard for you to take notice of what they're doing. 
letting you see how much effort that they're putting into trying to pursue you, trying to chase you. Uh, we have the Page of Pentacles. Excuse me, the Page of Swords. So I feel like something that you're doing is really sparking a curiosity within this within this person. Um, I feel like this is definitely them watching you. Like I like I was feeling with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this is definitely someone watching you. They're spying on you. Uh, I feel like if you have mutual friends, I feel like they're talking to them about you, asking them about you, uh, trying to find out more information of what you're doing at the moment if you don't have any contact. Um, but I really feel like this person <laughs> is very obsessive. Yeah, they're thinking about you nonstop. They can't get you off of their mind. They're obsessing. They're deep in thought. Very passionate. I feel like this person is dreaming about you. You may receive communication from this person very shortly. Because I feel like this person really wants to have another chance with you. I feel like they're chasing you. Like they really want to be noticed. And I feel like they're going to take new creative ways to try to get your attention. They're going to be very creative, you know. But they're setting their intention. They're setting their intention to let you know how interested they are. You bring an excitement out of them, you know. They feel like they can't stop until they get your attention. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. I feel like they see you as single at the moment. They, this may be someone from the past um, that you've known. And now they see you as single and they really want to jump on the opportunity to um, chase you. Because they feel like you're available. They feel like you're finally free. You may have had a breakup in the past. And I feel like this person has finally got wind that you've had this breakup. And now that they know that you're single, they want you back into their life. They want to pursue you. You know, very interesting. Tell me more, Spirit. The Three of Pentacles. Hmm. This person may also volunteer. They also may be part of a team, part of a network that you're a part of. Um... I'm really getting that this may be a friend of a friend as well. But I feel like this person sees you as being available. Being a valuable person in their life. You know, I, I think this person sees a lot of value in you. Yeah, okay. The Wheel of Fortune. So this person sees you as someone who is like a turning point for them. You may be a bit above their standard, <laughs> sort of speaking. You know, you may be a bit above their standard. And they feel like if they can gain your attention, they're like above the standard. You know what I mean? That they feel like... They've just hit their lucky spot. They've ran into some kind of good fortune. A, a turning point. Because you're this person that they see as so valuable. You're like one of a kind to this person. This person sees you as beautiful, as attractive, as, you know, very abundant. 
Um, this person also sees you as very successful. So they see everything that you have to offer and they feel like if I can just get Scorpio, I know that I'll be in that higher rank, you know, because I want Scorpio. I want this person. Um, I, I feel like they see you as very popular, very outgoing. Um, they view you as a catch, you know, they view you as the one, maybe even the one that has gotten away. But I feel like they, they view you as ex exceptionally attractive. Yeah, we have the Justice card. They see you as kind of a reward for the pursuit. You know what I mean? Um, they see you as someone very valuable. Like if they were with you, that the scales would be balanced, that karma would be in their direction. You know, they would get their karmic reward if they could just be with you. Um, we also have the Emperor on the bottom. So I feel like in this situation, Scorpio, I feel like you have total control. This person values, value, <laughs> values you so deeply that I feel like this person is unintentionally giving you all the control because you have the control to say yes or no to this person and I feel like this person has put so much value into you that they they only see the end game you know they're like seeing the finish line but they're not seeing the journey you know, I, I feel like this person is kind of seeing you as a reward, but they're also kind of, oh my goodness, how do I put this? They want to do whatever it takes to get in your good graces. That's what I'm trying to get across, Scorpio. Um, <laughs> I feel like this person is very... very naive a little bit because I feel like you're so much more than just what they're seeing in you very interesting but I feel like this person is ready and able to go the distance if you just give them the chance to pursue you know uh, let's get some love messages for you, Scorpio. Let's get some love messages. Okay, we have three to come out. Okay, we have romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. So I feel like that's what this person is hoping for. They're hoping that you find them just as attractive as they find you. They're hoping that Cupid's arrow strikes so that they have a chance to get to know you better to start this new beginning that they're hoping for to you know look at this change take this reward you know i feel like this person wants to send you a message i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you you know i feel like this person is telling you that intimately um and I feel like they're trying to text you. They may be even trying to send you messages on the DM. But I feel like this person really wants to communicate. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And I feel like this person wants you to totally understand their position. Totally see where they're coming from. You know? Um, they just want a chance with you. They just want to be seen, be noticed, be recognized. Because I, I think that this person, I, I feel like they're infatuated with you and they may be a little bit obsessed. But I feel like this person has a good natural heart, you know. 
Um, <laughs> their intentions, however, I'm not quite sure. But I feel like this person really wants to be with you. For them, we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And I really feel like this person, um, they may have went through a lot in their past, but I feel like this person is really thinking about you a lot. They're dreaming about you. They can't get you off of their mind. I feel like their thoughts are just totally surrounded by you. And for them, we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Exactly. I feel like this person sees you as an opportunity. They see you as wanting you to give them an opportunity to show you how much they care. And for them, we also have only time will tell. So I feel like this person is willing to take a risk. They're willing to wait, um, but they're really wanting to be recognized. They want to see some sort of sign from you, Scorpio. Some sort of sign that you may be at least a little bit interested in where this situation is going. I feel like this person <clears throat> is willing to wait, but... I feel like they're very anxious because they just want you to notice them. They want you to accept their offer. And I feel like they're making some sort of offer. Let's see. Let's get some more cards. For you, we have ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning and expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So I feel like you're expanding your horizons. Scorpio, you may be expanding your horizons to the um, event of a new beginning or new love coming into your life. We also have the boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So I feel like with ascending in the boat, I feel like, you know, you are very independent. You can give yourself everything that you need, but love, you know, and I feel like you're expanding your horizons in order to open up your life for new love. Um, I feel like you're expanding, you're progressing, you're moving into this new destination. For them, we have Cupid's arrow, having faith. Love is calling, surprise invitation, or meeting. Um, I feel like this person is going to give you some kind of invitation. They're, and it may be very surprising to you. But I feel like this person is very hopeful that you will see them the same way that they see you. Let's get one more card for this person. And then we're going to go ahead and clarify. Okay, we have camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. I definitely feel like this person is watching you. This person is taking a look at your social media. This person is um, reminiscing about events, how they would dream about interactions with you. If they have never been with you. Now, if this person is someone from the past, this could be... Um, they're reminiscing about places you've been, things you've done. You know, they're, they're reminiscing on past memories. Um, and I feel like if this is someone from the past, they really want to reconnect. They really want you to reconsider. Because I feel like this person misses you very deeply. You know, they just want a second chance. Now, so for some of you, this will resonate. For others, this is someone new coming into your life. Tell me a little bit more about this situation, Spirit. Tell me more for Scorpio. Okay. Oh, my goodness. 
we have the strength card. So as I said, someone is gaining their strength in order to approach you. And I feel like with the Ace of Wands, they want to approach you with some kind of passion, some kind of offer that's going to bring a lot of passion. Um, I feel like they're, they're hoping for the spark to be started. And I feel like they're trying to build up their confidence in order to make the offer. Um, if they have built up their confidence, I feel like you will get an offer very soon. Uh, I feel like this is coming in within the next couple of days or couple of weeks. But this person is really looking for happiness with you. They're looking for some long-term stability. Being able to celebrate life's challenges and life's rewards with you. You know, I feel like this is someone who wants to build a family. Someone who wants to build a life with Scorpio. They want to be your happy ever after. And I feel like this person feels like that you're setting your boundaries. You're setting up You're setting up boundaries with this person and they feel like they have a need to be persistent. I feel like with the nine of wands, I feel like this is someone who has been hurt in the past. This is someone who maybe has been through great obstacles, great challenges. But I feel like this person don't want to give up. They want to keep pursuing you because they care that much about you. They, they value you. They think that you are someone that is very valuable. They're building on their future. They're dreaming about their future with you. They see you as someone who um, is able to travel with them. Some they, they see you as like their ships coming in. You know? Um, but they definitely are thinking about the future with you. They may be daydreaming a lot. Or they see you in, in your dream. How they view your relationship to be. Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely daydreaming a lot. They're thinking about you an awful lot. Thinking about how things can be. How things are supposed to be in their mind. How things would be with Scorpio. I feel like they're thinking about the future. They're kind of making plans. Um, they're wanting to give you some type of offer, some type of gift, but they're not quite sure what to give you because they feel like you're a person who has it all. Um, they feel like you have everything you need. So what on earth could they give you? You know. Very interesting energy. Scorpio. Oh my goodness. But they see themselves with you. And they see a lot of happiness. A lot of contentment. A lot of reward. A lot of stability and support. They see a lot of celebration. And I feel like that's the reason why we were seeing that service card. You know, the the Three of Cups is always is also a card of community, a card of service. And I feel like, you know, it's not really service what they're seeing. It's actually uh, community. It's support. It's celebration. Um, so this person wants to celebrate. They want to celebrate a homecoming with you. You know, they want to celebrate a happy life, a happy ending. Yeah, they want to hold you. Well, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is holding something very close to them. You know, holding something very close to you, protecting it. Um, 
long-term security, a desire to do the right thing. You know, and I feel like this person has a great desire to be close to you, to hold you near. Um, this person has a great desire to protect you. Yes, the Queen of Cups, she's a protector. She's a nurturer. She's a supporter. And she's also very intuitive. So I feel like that's the reason why we received this card, to look at your intuition. Trust your intuition. She's always right. Trust your intuition. Um, the Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. She knows the right way to go because her intuition is telling her which way to go. And I feel like your intuition is going to be, be very strong in this situation because I do feel like you're very curious. You want to know more information about this person. You want to know more information about how they're feeling, if they're for real. Um, and I feel like you're, you want to open the communication up to talk to this person to, you know, see what the real deal is. And I feel like this person will be very open to hearing you and to <laughs> communicating with you because I feel like they that's all they want to do is communicate with you. That's all they want is is this love situation to unfold with you, you know. Um, but yeah, you definitely have a person who's coming in who wants to protect and support you, who wants a happy ending, who wants to be that nurturer, that protector, that love interest for you and I feel like this person thinks about you a lot they have a lot of feelings for you Scorpio um, they don't want to feel like you're moving on without them this like I said this could be some someone from the past that may want you to reconsider but I feel like <clears throat> I feel like with this person, they, they really want your attention. They really want you to take notice. To just listen and hear them out. Okay, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. All of my uploads will be uploaded by um, the end of the week. So if you need to uh, clarify the situation by looking at your sun, moon, and rising, come back in a couple of days. You'll see more uploads. Okay, Scorpio. Until the next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.